the Jaguars roster in 2019. Absolutely not. <clears throat> and I think you can see the developments of today, this uh, Wednesday, with the fact that they came out and they said that Nick Foles is not going to get franchised in Philadelphia, opens it up even more. Because that would have been a little complicated had they franchised them, tried to talk to Jaguars and saying, hey, you want to pay him $25 million, give us a third round pick. Now that's opened the boards and you start to look at the quarterback landscape. I mean, how many teams are going to be able to pay whatever it's going to cost on Foles? Now, maybe it's not going to be $23, $22 million. Maybe it's going to be $20 million. Maybe it's going to be $18 million. Whatever it is, it's something that I think the Jaguars can afford. When you look at Washington, you know they've got to find a temporary replacement for Alex Smith. They don't, they can't pay as much as Jacksonville can. And then you look at the, a couple of the other teams. I mean, really, they're not there. Giants are going to stay by Eli Manning. Oakland's going to stay by Derek Carr. So really, it's clear sailing right now to get Nick Foles. Speaking of Nick Foles.